So starting with our first pass, guys. So I control these shins, right? From here, I'm gonna walk to the side and then pin his foot here, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna go for my first pass, which is going to be a leg drag, right guys? So, so just basic feet, sorry. You, I pin. First I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag his foot out, right? Take a, some of the power away from his leg so he can't pull it out easily. Then I am going to slide my foot up like a duck. Okay, and then switch. And because I'm going for the leg drag straight away, I'm gonna pin his leg closer to his knee, okay? Because I want to be a little bit closer to him when I'm doing this pass, all right? So if I'm just controlling him, I'm gonna control low on the ankle, okay? I wanna keep my distance where he can't reach me as much. But when I'm going for my pass, I'm gonna pin closer so I can get closer to his hips and control that as I go for the pass. All right, so the first reaction, my partner's just gonna keep his knees to his chest here, okay? So if my partner's keeping his knees to the chest like this, it's a good opportunity for me to go for a leg drag. So what I'm gonna do is take my other hand and I'm gonna grab on the outside of his shin, okay? So this will be the inside, right? So I'm gonna grab on the outside and then I'm gonna push his legs up, right? So I'm gonna extend his legs slightly like this, right? So this is just to take away some of the power from his leg. When his legs still bent like this, it's much easier for him to keep his knees to his chest. So if I just try to pull, he's stronger here to be able to keep his knees to his chest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is extend his leg up like this. And then with my other hand, I'm gonna cup the top of his knee and then drag his leg across my body, across my hip here. And then I'm gonna go for my leg drag pass, right? From here, once I've pulled his leg across my body, I'm gonna start moving my head down to cover this space between his leg and his arm, abs here. Okay, so I'm gonna start getting low and then getting ready to control his hips. All right, so at this point, Andrew's probably gonna push on my shoulder. So my goal here, as soon as I get the leg drag, is to beat his frames. Okay, so if I can beat his frames, I can pass much quicker and I don't have to deal with that. So as soon as I get here, I wanna get low real fast, right? So if I beat his frames, I can just crush him here and then pass straight away, okay? Now, if I get to here, I push his leg, extend his leg, so here, I drag it across, right? And I go for my pass and I don't be his frames, okay? So the second, the second option I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one big swipe, like this, and then get the side control still. All right guys, so one more time, give you both variations. So knees to your chest, Andrew. Okay, starting with my C grips on both shins. I'm gonna walk to the side, pin his leg down with my hand first, and stop on it with my foot. Okay, drag it out, and then I'm gonna switch to the other side, okay? Notice this time I'm pinning higher on the shin. Here, I grab on the outside of his shin, on this leg, extend his leg a bit, and then drag it across my hips. Now I'm starting to get low, get ready for my pass. First option is I beat his frames, right? I control his hips, I get low, so I get the pass straight away. Now second option is that I get my leg drag here, I start getting low, he starts framing me. Okay, so now I need to do one big swipe, clear his frames, and get to side control. All right guys, you all wanna see that again? You guys all good? Let's go, our partner, three, two, one, two.